guys, welcome to my bathroom. This is my shower curtain. But um, I'm actually recording you guys on my laptop because my camera is dead and I don't have the time or money to go out and get batteries because I'm pole right now. Still new in my jobs. So, um, Hopefully this works out. Um, I opened my window, so hopefully the lighting isn't so horrible. I just didn't have enough outlets to bring in more lighting. So hopefully this isn't too bad. I apologize in advance if this is absolutely horrible. But uh, today I wanted to show you guys how I turn this into straight and not so frizzy. <laughs> so this is what my natural hair looks like. Granted, I did not touch it, because if I touch it and brush through it, it gets poofier, which you'll probably see in this video. But this is my natural hair when I get out of the shower and go to sleep and wake up. Not this part, because I straightened, I straightened and cut my bangs last night because I have a really big forehead and I like bangs. So uh, I just cut these and I straighten them with a the blow dryer. So yeah, so other than this, <laughs> like this is my natural hair. So, poofy mess, and sometimes I just want it to be straight, so it, it gives me a new look without having to get a drastic haircut or a hair dye job, which I can't afford! And I want to stick to my natural hair color because I've literally done the whole rainbow. I've done red, I've done orange, I've done black, I've done brown, I've done every single color. I've done platinum blonde. So this is my natural hair color. I haven't dyed my hair in, let's see, since 2012. So it's almost been three years. So hey me. <laughs> Even though it's still damaged from dyeing it, like my ends are completely ugh. But the top part, my roots are good. So yeah, I'd say if you like your natural hair color, don't mess with it. Keep it because it is so hard to get back to that. I went through bleaching and dyeing just to get this color, which I think I really like my hair color because it's natural and it's unique, and it makes me who I am. Like it, it's me. So yeah. So this is just a video on how to straighten really curly, frizzy, thick hair. So the first thing you want to do is gather supplies. I like to have them right next to me. Um, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a straightener. Um, this one is the Chi Air. Uh, I got this two years ago and it's my favorite straightener. So you need a straightener. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a brush. Since my mother just went to Georgia and decided to take pretty much all the brushes in the house, I'm using a round brush, which is nice because you can get every, you can really make sure your hair is straight when you're going through it because you use this to straighten your hair with a blow dryer. So, um, next thing I'm going to be using is just a rat tail comb just to divide my hair because you want to do sections. That's the key to straightening curly hair is to do small sections for thicker hair. Um, you're also going to need some bobby pins to keep your hair up when you're sectioning off. A clip which works very easy and then a ponytail or a bigger clip to keep the rest of your hair back while you're sectioning each part. So um, I'm just going to do a couple sections because I know it takes a little while and um, hopefully after that you'll get an idea of what to do and then I'm just going to fast forward the whole video to when I get done. So I'll do a little bit, I'll fast forward so you can see me do it but it'll just be really fast and then I'll show you the ending process. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is take that rat tail comb. Now, I know my hair is probably a little tangly since last night because I sleep and I, when I sleep, I like to toss and turn. So I know it's going to be a little tangly, which I'm also tender headed, so I love tangles. So what you're going to do is just section off a kind of thin, but I'd say about an inch section width wise. So from here to here, about an inch. So then you're going to take the rest of your hair. Here, take that lovely, lovely ponytail and just take this hot mess and secure it. So we don't want any of it coming to where we're straightening. We just want it out of the way so we can have a clean workstation. Alright, so 
so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna brush my hair, so I'm gonna take this. Huh. Surprisingly, no tangles. I'm very shocked. When I sneeze, I get tangles. That's how fat my hair is. So, now I'm gonna section off another piece. You just wanna get wherever you feel comfortable. You want a thinner section, but you don't want it, like, you don't wanna straighten this because it's gonna take forever. The more sections you do, the better it, it, it will straighten. So, then we can take that clip or a bobby pin or whatever you wanna do to secure this out of the way. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the round brush, brush through it, and then hold the brush. Take your straightener. You wanna get really close to the root, which I'm looking over at my mirror right over there because I don't wanna burn my scalp. And you're just gonna pass through. You wanna get as close to the root as you can because you don't wanna see you know, curls and stuff because we're straightening our hair. We want it straight. All right, and I kind of like to bend it a bit so I, it looks a little more natural so it's not just pen straight because I don't like pen straight hair. So it gives it a little more something at the bottom. A little more something. So now we're done with that section. So that was one done. Look how easy that was, guys. And you want to make sure your hair is completely dry because you don't want to cook your hair. It's not nice. It's not fun. Your hair will hate you. <laughs> so we're just doing another section and pinning this back. Taking the round brush, grabbing that section, brushing through it, making sure all the tangles out, and holding the brush through it and grabbing the straightener. Getting close to the root, doing a couple passes near the root, and curling it as we're going down. Well, not curling it, but moving your hand down. I guess we are curling it under. Yeah, so we are curling it, <laughs> just a tad bit. So see how it kind of goes inwards? I just I just like that better. I don't want it pin straight. I don't like pin straight hair. So I guess I'm glad I didn't, I wasn't born with a straight hair because it would probably annoy me. I like curly hair because it's something different every day. You wake up and one curl that was over on the other side is on the other side, it's curling the other way today. Just, it's what you get. There's a surprise every morning. So, again, brushing through, taking that section, keeping the brush in, doing a couple passes at the root, curling it under. And what I like to do when I know that each section is sort of mostly all straight, I like to just take the straightener and pass over kind of the whole of what we've done just to kind of make sure and you can tell that I have layers because it's all different stuff <laughs> it's links all right I think this is still gonna be the last one let's we'll see my bangs have yet not yet been tamed so they are still going to go back to where they were yesterday when I cut my hair that is the best time to tame your bangs, which I know this won't be as voluptuous because it's going to learn to sit flat on my forehead and it's going to suck. So yeah, doing a couple passes, curling under, and then just kind of straightening the whole thing and curling under. Alright, so that is one whole section done. That did not take a long time. So you're just going to let this cool a bit, it's a little hot, so you don't really want to touch it too much. But yeah, that's how you straighten one section, so you, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward from this section, but I'm going to keep going, I'm going to go all the way around my head, just keep doing sections, and the little, the littlest section you can do, um, or I guess the biggest section you can do that it can fit in the straighter, straightener and that you know you're actually getting it through and straightening it so it's not, you know, because if you did this whole big section, it's not going to straighten over one pass or two passes. It's going to take a really long time for you to just do this part. So I know it, it's going to take a little while to learn, you know, the hand movements. It's going to feel weird at first and my straightener just fell and almost hit my foot. Yay! <laughs> You're going to want to make sure your straightener is not sitting on the toilet seat that's rounded. So, um, 
Yeah, you definitely, it, it takes a little while. Um, I remember when I first started, like, straightening my hair, it felt weird to, like, have my arms all in different places. And you'll, you'll get, you'll get there. It, it'll feel more natural the more times you do it. It's just practice makes perfect, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through all this. Um, straightener just fell again. Put it on a level surface. Don't, don't do what I'm doing. I make mistakes so you guys can learn from them. So, all right, let's get down to it, and I'm going to play some music while I wait, because this is probably going to take me an hour in real time. I'll time it for you guys. So it's 2.29 in the afternoon. We'll see how long it takes me to get all this done. I know it's going to take a lot longer when you're first learning, because you're learning. So I know it, it took me like two hours to do my hair before, and that's just because my hair is thick and curly. <laughs> It's an unruly mess, and it's unforgiving, but yeah, so I'll fast forward it. I talk way too much.
looks like when I have all straightened all my hair. So it got longer and I think it like brightens my hair a little bit, the hair color. So this is what it looks like. It took me about an hour. It is now 322. So that just shows you how long it took me in real time. Uh, I was watching Game Grumps and I was a little bit distracted and that's why I was laughing throughout the whole fast forward part because they are hilarious so I definitely re recommend them to anybody. Uh, I think between all the guys on there, Danny and Aaron are definitely my favorites. Um, I Sometimes I lean more towards Danny and sometimes I lean toward, more towards Aaron but yeah definitely check them out. Uh, yeah so that's how long it took me. It's going to take a while for you to learn or if you know how to straighten your hair already. Uh, it really depends on how thick your hair is, how curly it is, and how long it is. That's really going to factor in to how long it's going to take you to do your hair. So I definitely wouldn't do this when you only have so many um, minutes to get ready. I would definitely give myself a lot of time. I'd either do this really early in the morning um, or the night before. So that's just a little hint to you guys for, you know, if you're going to straighten your hair, if your hair is naturally curly like mine is. Uh, also, if you guys have any suggestions for what video I should do next, please comment down below. Or if you have any questions on, you know, uh, this hairstyle or what I do afterwards or anything like that, just let me know. Um, also give this video a like and subscribe to me. That means so much to me since I am a new channel. So I'm trying to make this something that's more than just a hobby. So if you guys can help me out, that would be, that means so much to me. Alright, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!